Hey guys, Houston Cow Dog here, custom one underscore 64 farm trucks over on Instagram. Check me out over there if you have an Instagram account. If you don't, you need to get one, guys. That's where all the action is with diecast. That's where you can find all the best pictures and uh, the most up to date information. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you. It's going to be kind of a part three or continuation of the last couple of videos I made because I never got to a couple of cars I wanted to show you all that I brought in from eBay and I've got a few several trucks I'll show you all tonight that I've finished up over the past couple of weeks that is a Hot Wheels uh, 83 Silverado this truck is made from uh, the I think off-road racing series uh, the yellow one with the racing tampos on it. I bought a ton of those trucks, guys. It's been about, oh, maybe four, four, three, four, five years ago. They had them in 99 cent only stores for a dollar. I bought every one I could find. I bought the Silverado. I think they had a Tundra. Uh, they had a Toyota Land Cruiser. And they had, uh, a dune buggy but anyway i was buying them back then to strip the wheels and tires off of them so i have a ton of the bodies and chassis laying around and uh so i decided to to do something out of one of them I tried to make a somewhat period correct paint job on this and it worked out okay it's not it's not perfect it actually has wheels on it from a jada fast and furious i think it's called the fast attack buggy it's that armored car slash dune buggy looking thing i used a molotov pin to paint them chrome and then fitted them on this truck that's got a roll bar off of a i think green light ford truck 1970 or 72 ford truck then it's got a couple of kc lights on it that came off a green light bronco And then I want to show you guys. I've got some more trucks I will show y'all uh, over here on the other side. But I want to open up a few cars that I've kind of, uh, just about three. These are actually all Walmart finds. These weren't eBay finds that are really cool. And I'm really excited to finally open them. This is one of the newer Johnny Lightning releases. A 70 Buick GS barn find. It's missing the hood. It's in a primer black. It says one of 2980. I don't know how true that is, but it's a cool car. And they do an A and a B. So here it is in green. This one does have the hood. Glad to see these both have white letter tires on them. Let's take a quick look. There's the black one. And there's the green one. It's a cool car, guys. The color on this green one is beautiful. The black one is too. It's kind of a satin black, not quite flat. I'd say closer to satin. Nice job on the tempos on these. Opening hood. Although that one doesn't want to open and I'm not going to force it. And that one does not have a hood. This car would have been really cool had it they gone ahead and put a hood on it. It really wouldn't be so much of a project in progress or a barn find. It'd just be a really cool satin black 70 Buick GS. And this was a Walmart find too. Didn't think I'd ever see this in the store. Same one of 2980. <coughs> Am I going to regret opening that someday? Who knows? In my opinion, the loose cars, when you get to premium diecast, Johnny Lightning, Green Light, Auto World, 
the loose cars seem to do just as good as the carded cars when selling on eBay. It seems like sometimes they almost do better. And I think that's because most people that collect premium diecast are loose car collectors, have loose collections. This does not have an opening hood. But man, that is a cool looking car. They did a really nice job on that wheel. I think that's the wheel that they introduced when they did uh, the new tooling for the 87 Monte Carlo SS several years ago. And that's a really accurate wheel. That wheel would also be accurate to a 1980, an 81 Z28. But here they just painted it with the chrome accents to make it look like a steel wheel, which is very similar to the wheel that would have been on Oldsmobiles from what? As early as 1967 all the way up to 1987, even longer. There's another color of this. I'm not sure what it is. This is the only one I've found. And I found this in a Hobby Lobby the other day. This is a new release of their 77 Z28. This is one of my favorite diecast cars, guys. They also, with this release, they released it in a copper color. It's really cool. I've got it. I didn't bring it in tonight, but... Uh, I'm only missing two of these Johnny Lightning 77 Z28s. There's a light brown one or almost a tan, an enamel tan. And then there's a white one. And eventually I'll find both those on eBay and pick them up. And then uh, I got this off eBay the other day. I've got a loose one. I'll keep this one on the card. But I found this the other day on eBay and got it for a real good price. It may have been, I don't know, seven, eight bucks shipped. And I found a couple of chase cars over the past couple of weeks. Auto World 66 Impala SS 427. I didn't know they offered the 427 Impalas in 66. And then I also found this one 66 olds these ultra reds are really pretty in person I'd really like to have and I you know I made us break down and cough up the money for one but I'd really like to have a um, one of their 76 Cadillacs and the uh, ultra red just to get the color I have managed to gather up all of the Cadillacs and the regular release. Uh, there's a, there's this one. There's kind of a turquoise. Oh no, there's one I'm missing, which is a metallic turquoise. I think the white top maybe. I do have the acrylic turquoise. I've got this one. I've got the black one. I've got the cream one, and there's a gray one too. And I think that's it as far as the Auto World '76 uh, Coupe de Ville's are concerned. Looks like she got pulled over for running a little hot in that thing. And then, also I wanted to point this out. I picked this up on Walmart the other day. Yesterday, actually. I don't know if these are hard to find, but I hopped on eBay and people were paying 10, 12, 15 bucks for these. Sometimes more, so I guess because it's JDM. It's really hot right now. It's a, real, it's a cool color. Look how out of scale that is, though. That's like 150 scale, literally. 155, 150, it's massive. These Johnny Lightnings are a little small. Most of their cars are a little small. Uh, but they're, I don't know if their import cars tend to be bigger or what, but that is huge. Cool color, I'll hang on to that on the card. I don't know if I'll trade that or something. And then, oh, this is funny. I found this yesterday also on a CVS. I had to run in there to get grab something the other day. I cruised past the toy hall, and they had this hanging on the pegs. I know these don't aren't selling for crazy money like they were, what was that, a few months ago, and people were paying big bucks for these because why? Did one get shot into space on a satellite or a rocket or something, a Hot Wheels Tesla? Okay. 
Okay, guys. Uh, ah, I did find this. I didn't find it. I got this actually from the same seller I got this from. I'll keep that on the card. I've already got one of those. Uh, wow, how nice would it be to have this wheel on that casting? It'd be more accurate. These are getting a little trickier to find too. This uh, Johnny Lightning 76 old. It is a old. It is a pretty nice casting. Oh, here guys. Here's a good illustration of that. What this wheel is supposed to be. So they did a pretty good job there. But that's the old old steel rally wheel. It's a cool wheel. Okay, guys, how much time do we have left here? Uh, a few minutes. Okay, I'll make this short, and I'll just show you guys a couple of things I've work, been working on lately. Here's a custom uh, Hot Wheels 79 Ford I worked up this week. Got a little bed cover in it. It's got some M2 Auto Wheel set wheels on it. really like this set of wheels, although I wish they weren't staggered. They're narrower in the front and deep dish in the back. That is that, uh, what is that? Testers, one coat, lacquer. I think this color is called ice blue. Here are a couple of Matchbox 75 step sides. I can't remember if I showed these in the, or that one in the last video. This one's more recent. This is actually a Matchbox 75 Chevy cab with a Hot Wheels 83 Silverado bed. Paint's a little wavy on this when you look up look it look at it up close. And I did not do a good job on the chrome work. I need to go back and rework that and I think I figured out a way how. This actually, well, I think it turned out pretty darn good. This was, I saw a guy that had built one on Instagram, and I kind of was able to tell by looking at it the way he had done it, so I attempted it. It turned out pretty good, and so I will attempt, you have to widen, you have to take the this here and here on the cab of the Matchbox Chevy because it's a little bit narrower, and you have to stretch it, kind of pull it out and widen it to make it the same width as the Hot Wheels bed. It's pretty simple to do, so I'm gonna. But it took some time to build this truck, so I'm gonna attempt another one and and uh, really kind of dial it in. I think the next one will be nicer. But it, just doing them with the step side bed alone, just putting a period correct color on it, some wheels does wonders for that casting. It's one of my very favorite castings. Is that Matchbox 75 Chevy? They did a nice job on the scale of it. A really good grill and here is running out of time guys so we'll make this quick this is a Maisto Mustang GT I think it's supposed to be a 92 according to the taillights this came as a set with this ramp truck which I took the Maisto cab off of stretched the frame a little and I put that M2 that awesome M2 C60 uh, Chevrolet C60 cab on so that frame is part M2 frame, part Maisto frame. We'll show that a little more in the future. Uh, that's a really cool truck. And then that's got a Maisto 75 cent grocery store 57 Chevy pickup truck on it, which is really nice. Look at that detail. And uh, here's a little Hot Wheels Mustang. I did a wheel swap on it. Turned out really nice. Those wheels are off of a Johnny Lightning uh, GMC Typhoon and there's a custom oh that's not quite straight that's a Matchbox uh, 1985 Toyota 4Runner I worked up there it is in stock configuration found this at a flea market in rough condition so I redid it okay thanks for watching guys I'll go into some of these custom trucks in a little more detail in the next video which I'll try to get out pretty quick thanks